Hi guys, in today's video I am sharing exact equipment that I'm using to photograph bride and groom's first dance as a married couple as well as parent dances. Hi guys, if we never met before, my name is Jana Shellman and I'm a wedding photographer in New Jersey and Philadelphia area and I have been going through the whole series of what kind of equipment I'm using throughout each part of the wedding day so you can find all of the links to all other videos, all other parts of the days uh, below this video just so that you can check them out if you think that would be helpful to you. And just a little note, currently I'm not talking about lighting equipment I am using, I am just talking about body and lenses that I'm using. Lighting equipment will be covered in a slightly different video because it covers, it just the same kind of equipment and very similar setup so separate video so yes in today's video I'm talking bride and groom first dance and parent dances and I am using two of the same bodies Canon 5d mark III's and I love them and then for the lenses and that's right for my first dance and parent dances all both bodies are hanging on me with my harness just so that I can very quickly switch from one lens to another and in the majority of the cases I will be using these two lenses Canon 70 to 200 2.8 as well as Canon 35 1.4. I feel like these, this set of lenses give me a beautiful variety and a lot, a very good set of photos that when I'm going to deliver them to my clients, they're going to be very happy. As well as these lenses perform the best in the dark situations, which Again, I mentioned that many times, majority of my receptions are not outside daylight receptions, they're inside and they're darker receptions, darker rooms where I need to use flash, which again, flash will be covered in a separate video, but my lenses need to be able to focus really well in the dark situations and I feel like these two lenses do the best focusing. If I would be photographing daylight receptions or if my rooms would be a little bit lighter, I probably would be photographing on Canon 24 to 70 for all of it. So it gives me a very nice variety from going to super wide to super zoomed in, but I feel like I cannot risk and use this lens because it does not focus as fast as my 35 does. So, in most of the cases, for my wide angle photos, I will be using my 35 and in all of the cases so far, the size of the dance floor is big enough that I'm able to capture a full body shot of the bride and groom or mother-son or father-daughter dance so I'm able to see full body shot and if I feel like I'm slightly not capturing full body I will just go vertical and I'm able to get the full body obviously and then for all of my close-up photos I'm going to use 70 to 200 and if the dance floor and if the room is big enough for me to back up even more and get a full body shot with this lens I will do that because I love the compression of this lens and the way the photos look coming out of this lens. So yes, I will try to get a full body shot as well as a lot of close-ups with this lens. And that is all you guys. So for all three of those dances, bride and groom first dance as a married couple, father-daughter and mother-son dance, I will basically use the same setup and I will use the same techniques with photographing with these two lenses and potentially with my 24 to 70 once in a while. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any other questions, wedding photography related, business of wedding photography or anything else, feel free to leave me a comment below this video or message me on social media and I would love to answer your question. Have a wonderful day you guys and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.